All right, guys, we're going to make a move here. We've been patient. How long have we been here, Brad? Uh, about three hours, and yeah, we've just been destroyed by toothy sharks. We're assuming they're all seven gills. We've got one up to the boat, and the others we haven't seen, but we keep getting bitten off. So yeah, just going through a lot of tackle. Yeah. So, so it's the end of the tide now. We'll do a move and find a new spot. So you've, you've got another spot in mind? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, because we've been fishing the edge of the drop off for the run out. Now it's going to turn. We want to be fishing into the channel, not up onto the flats. So we'll go and find a different location. Alright guys, stay tuned, we're going to pack up and we'll get moving to a new spot and uh, hopefully land a gunner. Hopefully. We've just done a move, so I've just dropped the little rod down trying to catch some fresh bait. We can get another cooter like we got earlier on, or some yakkers, something fresh that'll be really good. So I've just got a couple of little nibbles, put it back in the holder, and see if it'll hit it again. All right, we're onto something here, I'm not sure exactly what it is. We've just done a fresh bait change and hooked up to something. It is a big cooter. Oh, not a big one, but a good bait one. So we've got some four fresh baits. Perfect, we'll get him, get him on, we'll get some fresh baits of him back out and hopefully get a gummy. Yeah, that's it. That's got head shake. He's on yours or not, I don't know. Oh, he yeah. has. There's another fish. Oh, we've got two on there. Uh, 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 yeah. That's a snap, would you free What do you think, Brad? Don't think gummy. It felt sharky when it took off. Yeah. So it took, it's up high, it could be another seven gill. Yeah, that's what, to me, that's what it looks like. Because yeah. you had those head shakes, and, and I've obviously caught a few already today. On that one, too. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. we're on this one too. Just getting enough line back where we've actually, we actually had that, that those rods cross over. It took two rods, and we've actually lost line off one one of the rods because um, we just weren't quick enough to get it. Um, straight over. That one's done. Yep, that one's yep. done. I'll we'll bring it in, and then maybe get this other one to me right out. So yep, yeah. With that one. I'll get that one out of the water. That's slowly coming back, isn't it, Brad? Yeah. Yeah. A bit of line on it. It took off pretty quick. Oh, oh, oh. It's, got, it's got some powerful effects. Now, as I said earlier, we moved to a different location. You can see the background is totally different to where we were before. Not. Oh. And we've been plagued by this. These species all day, all day. There you go, on the background there. See how they can spin their tails around? They can, there you go. There we go. Go on. Just spit me off. Just wanted to feed them again. To so Brad, bit of, bit of an arm work out there? Yeah, definitely. So it was good at least to get it up and know what it was and that we didn't lose a gummy. To be able to see it was a seven gill and at least see it then makes you happy if yeah. it, we're going to let it go anyway. So yeah, we'll keep persisting and hopefully we can get a gummy. Yeah, that, that, that felt sharky at the start, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. So you knew you all along that you had it was a shark. shark. It was just a matter of what type of shark it was. Yeah. And yeah. It had a feeling it was a seven gill again. And yeah. unfortunately it wasn't a yeah. gummy shark. Yeah. As I said, these, these seven gills frequent the area as well. So, you know, we'll yeah. just have to keep persisting and working through them. And, and you know, we, we will get one at some stage. Yep. Just Definitely. a matter of when. Well guys, we've come to the end of the day now. We came out here and chased sharks, a specific shark, a gummy shark, right? We didn't get it, but boy did we get some oh, sharks, sharks right? right? I reckon we got bitten off how many times, Johnny? Oh, mate, 
dozen times or so. Yeah. Close to 20, I reckon. At, at least we lost so much tackle, but that's you got to be ready for that, right? When you're coming out to fish this kind of fish or this kind of species, you've got to be prepared that you're going to have some grief yeah. with tangles and with bite-offs and with everything that goes with it, right? You're going to catch a lot of undesirables, but you just got to keep going, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. The areas that we're fishing are also reefy as well, so you, you do you do tend to lose a little bit of gear on reef, um, you know, your sinkers and your hooks and that sort of stuff. And yeah, as you said, we, we lost a lot of gear on fish, on, on seven gillers in particular and, and that sort of stuff, but... Yeah, that, we had a lot of fun. Yeah, that's 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 part of the adventure. Yeah, of, of <laughs> going out there and, and having a crack, and you're not guaranteed every day to catch the species that you want to catch. But the more you do it, you know, the, the closer you are to getting it. We had a stack of fun. Yeah, the sure. problem with us and with a lot of fishermen who do it all the time is you get spoiled, and we come out here and go, we didn't get what we want, we didn't get what we want. But I'll I'll ask you guys there, is there anyone there? that would have loved to be on this trip with us today given the sharks that you saw come up by the side of the boat. Why don't you answer that question on our Facebook page, right? On our on our Facebook. And Johnny, we might even pick a winner to come for a fish with us. What do you reckon? Oh yeah, we could do that. Yeah. 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 Oh, there you go. Yeah. Let's say, answer that question. Tell us why you'd like to be on the boat with us going for the sharks that we did. What do you reckon, Brad? Would you yeah. join us as yeah. well? Yeah, the two on. of you boys can host. I'll get behind the camera no and worries. we'll let someone jump on the boat. What do you reckon? Yeah, sounds like a plan. That sounds like a good idea. Should like, be a lot of fun. We've, as you've, you've seen from previous episodes, we've had a lot of guests on the boat and we've had a lot of fun. So, you know, we, we love to have, we love to keep everything real, you know, and, and make everything um, doable, you know, like everyone can do it. 100%. So guys, that's us. It's winter. It's getting cold, it's going to be dark it's very soon, we got to get back. He hasn't had any sleep, he's been up all night. Uh, he needs to get some sleep, we need to wash the boat. Guys, thank you for joining us on this trip. Brad, you're going to become a regular, right? No worries. Thanks. Mate, we love having you on the boat. Guys, thank you very much again and we'll catch you next time. See, See you later. guys.